We're gonna be melting some copper in a paragon heat treating oven. Got a few different alloys measured out and I'll put them in these little ingot molds. First, I'll preheat the crucible. I'm going to set it to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. 20 minutes will be just fine. And I'll go ahead and start heating it up. I'm looking for about two and a half grams of tin. This alloy here is 50 grams total and we've got 7.5% zinc, 5% tin, and the rest is copper. We've also got a silver alloy lined up to melt. So these are before 1964, which means they are 90% silver, 10% copper. I'll be adding a little bit more copper to that alloy. It's just about up to temp, so I'll go ahead and drop some metal in. Since the copper has a higher melting point than the silver, I'm adding it first. Uh, that way, we won't have a puddle of silver sitting in there for too Here long. Here goes the silver. Well, it's surpassed the melt point of copper. I'm gonna like, give it just a little bit and uh, so it has time to melt. All right, we're ready to pour. I'll take it out, put it in our ingot mold. Now we'll let this cool off. Well, uh, didn't get it all into the mold. So we got this uh, piece here and then this drip that I pounded and polished. Um, what's cool here though, we see the black oxide. Um, and then underneath, it's kind of rosy pink layer. Um, but then, so this little part that I hammered square and then polished the surface, you can see it's got a little bit of a bronzy color to it. Here it is next to some other alloys I've made with combinations of zinc, tin, nickel, and copper. Um, this one has a really, um, really noticeable, almost pink rosy color to it compared to a lot of the other ones that are very yellow. This is um, almost pink looking. Something else different about this alloy here is that it's a lot softer. The ones with the zinc and the tin, nickel and all that, um, are more bronze-like and they are pretty hard and difficult to cold work. This um, is cold and I just pounded it into that shape, no problem. Um, but some of these will crack if you try, try to bend them too much. So I like the softness and the malleability that this gives me. And here it is beside uh, sterling silver you can see a little bit more coloration in it. 